Hello, hello. Welcome to the Chasing Dreams podcast. So I decided uh, season two has been full of um, new connections and new partners. Some some old people I know. I know a few people from season two, um, but I definitely challenged myself to go outside my network for season two. But, but... I wanted to end the last interview of the season with my business partner, Jay Watkins. A um, couple reasons. Like, one, he's dope, like, in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> one, he's dope in real life. But two, um, we have a lot of exciting things that we're working on separately and together through the nonprofit Life After Loss. And I wanted to, um, although he was on the season last season, I wanted to take a moment to really talk about partnership. So it's one of those things, like as you're starting to chase the dream, you can go really fast alone or you can go far together. I think that's an African proverb, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I think that has been hold, that has held true with our partnership. And I wanted to bring him on to really have a pick your brain session about partnership and and the pros the cons all the good stuff so welcome back jay i appreciate it i'm happy to be here i'm excited yeah um, you know you know partnership especially partnering with you is something i consider a true blessing um and so i'm 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 ready to get into it <laughs> yes and fun fact you are the first person um probably only you're the first person <laughs> To have a repeat appearance on the Chasing Dreams podcast. Blessings, um, blessings. Yeah, so welcome, welcome. And I don't, I say that jokingly because y'all know I'm a clown, but uh, there are a few people that I would probably be, bring back. But, yeah, I but wanted, I'm the first. You're the first to come back because you're that much value. Thanks. I awesome. appreciate that. So, you know, we start off each conversation with what is the dream? I know we talked about it last season, mm -hmm. but has the dream changed at all since your last visit? Wow. Um, it's kind of been streamlined. I think mm. uh, more of a, a focus on a broader scale now for me. I think since our last conversation, a lot has happened. Um, even, <laughs> yeah, even you know, in respects to us individually, but you know, as partners, a lot has happened. Um, but I think, you know, ultimately the dream is still the same. You know, creating a platform for creatives, uh, giving back to the youth, feeding our community, all of those good things. But now I think uh, I've been impacted enough to where I have actually see these things like mm -hmm. blooming, like the fruit is actually. Yeah, the fruit is, is, is you know, um, blooming on the tree, man. And it just feels good to be a part of that, just to see it. You know, a lot of things are the great uh, gratification. And yeah. so now, now to actually see the fruits, <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, I can take a nap. <laughs> I can slow down just a little bit. Nap, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Then we right back up and on it. But yeah, I, it's my the dream is still the same. The dream is still the same. Yeah. For sure. So what is one thing you've learned from being in a partnership like ours? Oh, okay. Um, one thing I've learned. Uh, I've learned so many. No, he didn't get the questions <laughs> in advance. So. I know, right? But no, nah, I, I, I like the on the spot because it, 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 it forces you to be, you know, genuine with, with whatever you're saying. No uh, lies I think to people. The, yeah, no, no lies, people. No. Um, I think the best thing I've learned probably is to pay attention to the working styles of others mm. and uh and you know you know my working style well enough and i know yours that now we you know early on we had a couple hiccups but i think now we're at a point where it's like okay uh, i'm gonna get an email from jay at 2 30 a.m i'm gonna like i'm gonna reply at 6 30 in the morning <laughs> and i'm gonna be asleep you know, that's, yeah. that's how that's gonna go oh, you know he's gonna I'll, reply at 11 a.m when he actually wakes up <laughs> wakes up literally that's how it's going down yeah. and i think that's so cool uh because like even now like before we started recording i'm like hey i didn't forget to send you that email like i know that i have to send it yeah. right yeah. and it's and i haven't sent it for a reason and you know that yeah. and so it's just i think that yeah the communication tip has has really been driven home but being aware of the people you're working with their working styles that's going to take take you so far and i think it's it's strengthening us because it's certain things you like jay not strong in that area like he's good at it but i'm better and i'm so i'll take that on or jay's really good at that so jay can you do this like yeah i got you so i think that 
that's so helpful to us and in any working partnership. I definitely agree with yours and understanding that um, making sure your working styles are complimentary. Yeah. So they necessary. don't necessary. <laughs> yeah, you can't work with everybody. <laughs> you one, you cannot, and just because you're friends does not mean that you. that's your business partner. Um, but it is helpful that you and I do have a genuine friendship too. Yes. Um, <laughs> but we do have. <laughs> it's really helpful. Um, but we do have. We don't have similar working habits, but we have complementary working habits. And so, where what my what might be my strengths is usually like organization, time management, structure, yeah. you know, all of the things. That's so. <laughs> the things you hate. <laughs> Look, the, thing, the things that I know are good, but I'm not but, that great at them. And it's not even about like it being your weakness, but you don't enjoy it. But you're great with marketing. You're great with ticket sales. You're great with oh, yeah. networking. Like I'm introverted. I don't like to network. But you got this thing. I got you. I got you. You know I got you. Yes. I will say, though, the one, like, if I had to pick one thing that I've learned from working with you, um, I've learned to be people first and not business first. Yeah. And what you talked about. Yeah, it's, I think that's, that's so cool. Like, it's even, like, how now. Me, I think, and what I've learned from you is uh, business exists. Like, yeah, we're here to have a good time, but we yeah. got to get this work done. And I yeah. think that's been so helpful to me in, like, every arena of my life. Like, even in, you know, my my nine to five, it's like, I have a good time, but yeah. I'm like, yo, we got to get this done. And I think you've helped me kind of uh, nail that home for myself. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah. And and on the reverse of that, like, I'm naturally like, okay, work, 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 and now we can have fun. But you'd be like, I, I, how are you today? And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you breathe today? Like, did you go outside today? Did you, you know? take the did you, And it's you know not saying? that I don't care, but I can't, prior to us working together, like, my brain was, like, clogged with business, and yeah. I can't even see the personal <laughs> <laughs> until business has already been addressed um so because thanks to you i'm learning like okay let me talk to the human first <laughs> and then we can have the business conversation um because a lot i've learned a lot of people are not like me and that's okay but now that i know i'm the anomaly like i have to learn to adjust because i'm the odd man out like just because that's how my brain, because even when people were like, hey, like if you send me a random text, like, hey, how are you? Just checking in. What are you up to? Da, da, da. But I know you want something. I'm like, what do yeah, you want? Yeah, nah, same, same. <laughs> like, yo, and that's one thing too, like, on the flip of that, like, yo, just tell me. Like, of course, you know, I, I appreciate the, hey, how you doing? But you yeah. can smell it. Like, I can smell it. You're up to something. Yeah, just tell me. It's not that you can't ask me for stuff, but like, probably beating around the bush. Because then you can, I could just say no. And you can decide whether you still want to ask me how I'm doing. (laughs) (laughs) Do you still really want to know how I'm doing? Because I know how you're doing after I said no. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. So what advice would you give for someone considering going into partnership with someone else? Ooh, ooh, look at yourself. Look at yourself. I think that's the main thing. Like, are you ready for that commitment? Um, Just like anything, like a marriage. Uh, and that's and that's how I look at you know to me and I'm not married yet, um, but I look at marriage as a business to some degree because sure. yeah it's a business deal like you gotta adjust in a, in a myriad of ways you gotta uh, make agreements that you wouldn't necessarily make um, you have yeah. to always <laughs> yeah you have to always think about what your decisions do to that person yeah <laughs> right yeah. and um, ultimately. Are you ready for that? Like, what 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 is your level of commitment? And then on that same note, like, if you're going into this and you're you know looking to get involved with somebody in business, uh, look at them too. And yeah. so I, I tell you all the time, like, if I didn't like you as a person, I wouldn't do business with you. Hello. It's that simple. I can't. If if, if we can't kick it, <laughs> if we can't if we can't kick it, then we can we have nothing to do. Like, and that's you know, and I think that's when you talk about a partner. Now, just doing business. Yeah, cool. we can have one-offs and things like that, and, yeah. and and it's it's really a great analogy about like a marriage. So I'm not married either, but like as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, like this business relationship, like we yeah. in this for life, you know what I mean? Yeah, thanks. Oh, ew. And before you <laughs> take it to that level, like even with you and I, like before we got to the point where we were like, all right, 
let's make this a partnership. Mm-hmm. We business-wise dated a couple of times. You know, we did events yeah. together. We did partners. Exactly. You know, I was on your blog. You was on my, like before we yeah. were like, all right, <laughs> let's go into business together. We tested the water. We had to court. We had to court. As grandma yes. would say. <laughs> yes. Um, yes, because it's so important. And again, just because y'all friends does not mean that y'all write for yeah. business. That's and, the one. That's, t- yeah. that's the one they need to know. Because I'm yeah. there's some people out here writing you my my homies. Like I love them to death. You know, we my circles run run, you know, deep. Yes. Yeah. And I got some business deals and workings with some of my, you know, brothers. Yeah. Some of the other ones I wouldn't put their name on a piece of paper with mine. I don't care what the paper is. It could be a sign in sheet. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Next. <laughs> Next. For real though. Uh so what is a good memory that you have of our partnership? Oh. Uh, ooh. We got a lot, man. We got a lot. I know, um, I know. I know. <laughs> I think when we, so when we did Loving Me last year. Yeah. Um, 20, How you going to Huh? How you going <laughs> to But I'm only going to take a part of it. So I'll okay. let you leverage on everything else. But I'll take, I'm only going to take a part. So when we went in to see the space, mm-hmm. that was where I realized, like, okay, this is, like, this is real. Yeah. Because, uh, like, at certain moments during the conversation with the individual that was walking us through the space, um, I laughed because, like, you would ask her a question that I was already thinking, and which and I was not with us. <laughs> yeah, and which happens a lot. Yeah, and so I'm like, she's watching my face, like she's feeling my energy as I walk through this space. And like when I got to one of the side rooms, I'm like, mm, this don't quite look big enough. And your question was like, like, are y'all gonna remove this stuff out of this space? And I'm like, dang, <laughs> you read my mind, like, and so. <laughs> For me, it was so cool because we got the politic with her and asked questions uh, and everything we wanted got answered. You know, I felt like that when we debriefed after the, you know, the walkthrough, I was like, okay, it ain't really nothing to talk about. We already, you know, hit the, hit, the, you know hit the road. And so that made me feel good. Like, okay, we really, we really on the something here. So that, that's my favorite memory. <laughs> um, I would say my favorite memory. So again, we have so many good memories. Yeah. <laughs> um... My favorite memory was probably like just the weekend of loving me in general, um, because it was one. Of, it was the first time where I felt like somebody really has my back, yeah. up, down, left, right, a hundred percent, in, out, like. And I think loving me twenty nineteen is where we kind of like made. Like, we didn't have the official conversation yet, Mm -hmm. but I think that's when we became, like, one unit. Yeah, Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that was it. That was, like, the, like, okay, I'm ready. (laughs) Yeah, it was, like, we out here, I'm, like, I'm ready. Like, let's do this. Like, (laughs) I'm I'm good. I'm I'm happy right here. Um, Yeah. Let's run it. Let's run it. Yes. Yeah. And I think the the official confirmation for me was, so, with Loving Me 2019, you were just a co-host originally. And then you stepped in and was like, oh, I can help with the thing you, I can help with marketing, you know, like you, you really like stepped up. But I think the moment that I realized like, okay, you know, we ready to take this to the next level. Afterwards, you were, I think you were like, we should sit down and have a recap after the event and do a SWOT analysis. And I was like, (laughs) (laughs) yo, (laughs) let's go. And now yeah. <laughs> we, do, we have a SWOT analysis and really just sit back and reflect, like, what did we learn? What went well? What what didn't go well? What could we do differently? How could we structure it differently? So as we're preparing for Loving Me 2020, again, because I'm I'm the, the structure person, I'm like, all right, let's go back to the notes. <laughs> let's go back exactly. to that conversation and see how we can make 2020 even better because the yeah. goal for for me at least is to make sure every loving me gets better and better, better each year better and i think and i and i really feel like it is i mean i, I ain't trying to get off topic but <laughs> I, I really feel like it is i think we've invested time and i literally just you know like i said before man just seeing things happen I, like just seeing these things happen seeing people reach out uh, ask questions, inquire. Um, somebody came to me this morning and was asking literally via text, like, how can I donate to Life Health the Loss? And I'm like, yo, that, yeah, nah, for real. And I'm like, yo, 
that's crazy to me. I'm like, yeah. okay, you know, and I went All to right. the website, sent them the direct donation link. And so it's just, and even if they like, if they decide like, uh, I don't have it right now, but you're thinking about it. And to me, that's like, okay. It means a lot more than me, honestly. It, that, that means, I'm like, yo, the consideration, the traffic, yeah. All of that stuff is like, okay, we're doing some, and people, yeah. <laughs> people see it. People yeah. see it. Yeah. Um, and I had another question scheduled, but I want to kind of go into a little bit about what we're doing with Life After Loss. Um, so, uh, as you said earlier, a lot has changed since the last time you've been on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's give them a quick debrief on like okay. the pivots we've made this year. Um, what we got going on for the rest of the year. Like, whoop, whoop, whoop. let them know. Yeah. Let them know. Okay, I'll run it down for you. So each <laughs> month, um, you know, me and Tiara, uh, through uh, our nonprofit, Life After Loss, is offering free, 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 free. That's I think that's probably in the top three favorite words ever in, like, life. Maybe top two. Um, <laughs> but <we're, laughs> top two and I, number two. <laughs> look, that's it. You feel me? Um, we're hosting free web conferences, man, webinars for any and everybody um, each month throughout the rest of the year, except September. Um, you because know, September, you got to pull up to Charlotte. Exactly. You got to come see us, you know, face to face for Love and Me 2020. Yeah. Uh, the year of clarity, man. The year of clarity, the year of vision. But, we, but yeah, so th those have been awesome, you know, thus far we've done too, and they have been and, and literally, again, the progression, the first one was, was really good. We had good traffic. The second one, the second one, who <laughs> the second one, the fruits that came from that one, ah. just the, the the communication in the chat box, that's what we're driving home. And so that let me know again, we're doing what we're supposed to do. And so we have those. Of course, we're always offering coaching, uh, joint coaching. I think the deviation we made from that uh, throughout the year has been good because it's given us kind of time to work on our own side projects mm -hmm. and still give, you know, life after loss the attention that it it deserves yeah, yeah yeah and so um but yo i'm so excited for this third one like date your mate <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm excited for it yeah so it. the first one we did uh we were supposed to have i am woman um uh, which was supposed to be our inaugural women's empowerment event during women's history month um then miss rona came and did her thing you know what so one uh we decided to upgrade all the tickets to loving me tickets so if you bought a ticket for women's empowerment you got a free upgrade to loving me congratulations Congratulations. But also, we wanted to make sure we still provided that value. So we ended up doing that through the virtual uh, workshop. And then after the success of the first one, we we're like, well, shoot, we could do this all year. Yeah, that's um, really what happened. So that's literally what happened. So in one how, of our tell them how long it took. The, tell them how long it took to plan out the whole year. Tell them how long it took. One meeting. I do exactly. Yeah. It was one meeting. It took us like maybe an hour. Maybe. Because we were like... So this this is dope. I'm about to pull up the list and let them know what the people can expect. Run it down for them. The list Run is down. so when uh, March was women's empowerment, right? Yep. Then we have um where is the list? Um then we had stress awareness month was in April. Okay. Yes. You wanna talk about value? <laughs> Needed mm -hmm. that one. That one saved me a couple of restless nights. So yes. <laughs> May is Date Your Mate Month. June is National Soul Food Month. I'm looking for it. Hey, now look, look. Time out. Let's take a let's sit right there for a minute, okay? <laughs> you know, June is my birthday month. Um, and I love me some food. You and know, that's right I, for your birthday too. It is. It is. So I'm looking for a. Uh, I'm looking for a lot in June. But go ahead. All right? Go ahead. Run it up. Uh, <laughs> July. We're doing social media marketing. Yeah, they need that. Okay. August is Black Business Month, so we're going to be showcasing some amazing vendors. Um, and then, of course, we have Loving Me, September 18th through the 20th. That is in person in Charlotte, North Carolina. Pull up. Pull up. Um, October, I'm just me because month. Okay? Embrace yourself. Yeah. Then we have November, which is National Skin Care Month. And December is Write a Business Plan Month. Okay? That's going to be cool. <laughs> Can't wait. I got we, some ideas for December. We all the way up here. And I got, okay. I got ideas for December. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> listen. Listen. It's like that sometimes. So 
make sure one make sure you follow us at life after loss nonprofit on the gram so you can stay up to date with whatever is current um because by the time you hear this episode some of these events have passed i'm sorry but <laughs> but and where you fit in and don't miss the next one <laughs> exactly don't play yourself man don't play yourself so what are some challenges we faced as be- in being partners Ooh, um <clears throat> I think because we're we're outgoing in our own right, a lot of times we face, you know, time constraints. And of course, I know you're big on time um, and, and helping people and even myself pinpoint, you know, gaps of time they have throughout the day. I think the, the thing with us is we have the time, but we fill those time slots with different things. <laughs> and so I think that's one of the issues we've hit is like, uh, and I love how you've adjusted and it's not like, and I haven't thanked you for that, but let me say that right now. So everybody can hear it. Thank you. Uh, because the adjustment you have, you've made has made it a lot easier on me. And I feel a lot less pressure, which I operate, I operate, you know, I feel like I operate fine under pressure, but I feel like I'm really, really good when I'm flowing. And so for you to text me and say, Hey, I want to debrief with you what day and time works for you. That's so easy for me. I literally pull out my calendar and I promise when you send that message, I'll respond to that message within 10 minutes. You know, I pull out my calendar. Okay, let's do Wednesdays. At, can you do four? And then if I get up, you know, and I have earlier stuff moved around, I say, hey, can you meet even earlier? And just stuff like that works out really, really well. I mean, I appreciate you for giving me that opportunity to, you know, work around my schedule to some degree uh, to make sure you get the best out of me. So I think just that, the overlapping time because we're both busy <laughs> we're, some, we're some busy people but i love it yeah. i wouldn't trade it for the world yeah and that's the that's the challenge on my end is like we're both busy doing some phenomenal things um i think the challenge on my end is because we're different like we're similar but we're different yeah that makes sense <laughs> they get and it so, <laughs> <laughs> the ways in which we're different um although i do believe they're complementary it's still an adjustment right <laughs> Um, it, it's an adjustment and the more we've worked together consistently, the more we've gotten to know each other's work habits, patterns, like what works best to get what you want out of that person. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> um, and, and also I think part of it too, because, um, like you're working a nine to five and I'm, I have, you know, the, I have the ability to be a full-time entrepreneur at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, and I say at this point, because I really don't take it for granted. Every month, I'm like, whoo, we made it. Hey, you getting a little life after loss. <laughs> We're coming for you. Little Just make the donations, y'all, so we, can hire out <laughs> so we can hire staff people. Hire me. Y'all please. want me full time, don't you? <laughs> y'all want... Please, please, please. Um, <laughs> no, but seriously, though, like, as soon as the donations come in, just know. Yeah. Um, be like, benefit packages, blessings. Okay, listen, now you're doing a lot now. <laughs> we trying to bless these people. Oh, we, I'll get on that later. The city wide tour, anyway. city to city. It, it, anyways, <laughs> um, I think because I have a greater flexibility in my schedule, that gives me the ability to give you that flexibility back. And because I know, um, so we're both active. So you're active in your fraternity, I'm active in my sorority. Um, we both oh, have. Six. To- we both have community outreach. Um, so, you know, I coach cheerleading. You're involved with youth groups and, you know, all of it. Like, we have a lot of similar, you have a podcast, I have a podcast. Like, <laughs> yeah, look, we're doing it all. We we're do doing a it lot all. of things. But then on top of that, you have a nine to five. Yeah. So I feel like. Just, and you know what's crazy? I never even think about it. Like, I say I'm busy and then you lay it out. I'm like, good God almighty. Like, when do I sleep? When do I stop? Right. But I'm saying, like, because you we do all of the same things, plus you have a nine to five, like, I feel like the least I can do is give you the flexibility to schedule things. Because my schedule is a little bit more flexible, and mm-hmm. because I care about your mental health, too, you know what I mean? Right. Uh, I can't be sitting out here adding to the stress in your life. <laughs> you know what Thank I mean? You. Thank you. <laughs> I, can, I just can't. Not, not in good conscience, especially recognizing that at this point, you and I both do this for free. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. until we get some funding where we can afford payroll, like, I'm appreciative for whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, man, that's a, and that's what people, people got to hone in on that, man. Again, like, 
when you talk about uh, partnership, what are you willing to sacrifice? And you know, what are you what are you willing to realize in yourself? Um, you got to take a real good look at yourself. And I don't think we dug into people hard enough on that one. Mm. You really got to look at yourself because your life is going to change seemingly overnight. You know, when it comes to comes to our partnership, I don't second guess, you know, anything you ask me to do or ask of me. Um, and nor do I think you do the same, you know, relation to me. And so, I, again, I was willing to <clears throat> to do that because I see the work you put in, right? And that motivates me to push even harder, you know, because, Again, we in this for life. So <laughs> this is where I want to be. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So what final thoughts do you have for the people um, in general or but especially on the subject of partnerships? Okay, cool. So everyone listening, um, shout out to you first of all for, for supporting this beautiful platform here. Um, but <clears throat> in in the time of, of now. Uh, you know, being in this lockdown type situation, I encourage you to reach out, you know, to people that either you work with already or are interested in working in, working with, um, because you now we do have a lot more time to sit and reflect, think, talk, uh, and connect with those people, man. Connect with those people and see what you can create, if anything. And so right. uh, last night I was telling somebody, uh, that was speaking to me about the, the magazine article, I had to make the best out of my time sitting at the house, right? And, I, and I've decided that, uh, you know, to remove myself from social media quite a bit and hone in on, on my gift, man, and my, my skills and my craft. And I think that partnership is one of my gifts, is one of my crafts and networking, being a part of that. And I, and I want to encourage the people to get out, man, and, and meet somebody, talk to somebody, create something like life after loss, um, where you can sustain and impact people, um, not yeah. just by yourself, but through a network of caring individuals who really genuinely care about your well-being, um, but also the people that you look to serve. Yeah. And I think that's what's so dope about the direction we've taken with life after loss. Um, so Loving Me 2019, we had almost 30 speakers lined up. <laughs> Good God. Oh. Like, when I sit Ooh. down between the, the workshops and the panels, we had about 30 people presenting their perspective. And not just their perspective, just to sit up there and talk, but 30 people who have businesses who are living out the things that they're suggesting. Yeah. Um, then uh, for the virtual workshops, like, each workshop, we've had different people lined up. So I think the, the, ad, the value add to the audience is, like, you're not just hearing from us. Yeah. Which is and beautiful. I hear from us at all, honestly. <laughs> That's all. Look, I, you know me. I'm like, man, I can get words. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm so glad y'all are here, and I really appreciate y'all. But this ain't about me. <laughs> Hello. And I, I think when we made that pivot, where it's like, it's not about us. Yeah. It. it, it and I can't even say pivot because life after loss has never been about any one person, um, yeah. per se. So you know, just being able to evaluate, like. Yes, we could sit up and have these conversations, but let's get the best of the best and have those conversations. Yeah, and, that, and that's and that's again why we are really, really good at what we do. And I, I think it's it's really time now. And I really woke up on this today. I ain't gonna lie. I just I woke up in a in a certain headspace. Yeah, um, I'm those. definitely yeah, I'm definitely like done um, shortchanging us to some degree. Uh, we're really, really good at what we do, and we we work hard. We mentally process, and we go out of our way to ensure the quality of our product. And I think it's you know time <laughs> where we you know we take it because it's, it's ours for the taking. Um, mm -hmm. And just to, again, we, we work in a lot of groups with people who how do I say this uh, without offending anyone? Don't work as hard as us. <laughs> like I think that's the best way to say it. Don't work as hard as, as us, and don't work with intention like we do. Mm -hmm. And I think it's it's again our time now uh, because we we deserve it, um, and the people more importantly deserve to hear about what we're doing, honestly, and the opportunity to take part of it. And that's and that's always what I want is to be able to reach the masses. And I know a lot of people say, you know, if you touch one person. And I feel that same way, but we could also touch 100 or 1,000 or 1 million. 
So let's do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, let's do that. Yeah, like, one is one is yeah. awesome. I'm not I'm not downplaying one because that one can impact so many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one million can impact yeah, so can many too. Of- and that's so. I think that's the beauty of our partnership. I think we're able to provide quality and we're able to be intentional with our impact because you and I individually know where we're good at and we stay there. Yeah. Stay in my lane. <laughs> stay in my lane. I explore some things just to learn and get you better. Know, but and, and and that helps you. So when I know what when I understand the things you have to deal with, yeah. That makes it easier on me to say, okay, I get that. And then when you understand like, yo, Jay calling, sending whatever the whoever is like okay i get that that can take a little bit of time maybe (laughs) Um, but no as far as like the responsibility like we have that because we're different we're able to take different sides of the coin and show up with our strengths and because it's two of us we don't have to like when it when it's just you your strengths and your weaknesses are what they are you either have to hire out or contract out or, you know, all of the things. But because what I'm not strong in, you are, and vice versa, mm-hmm. all the people see is the strength. That's, it's like we're at 100% all the time, all the <laughs> which time. I love. Which and, I, and that's that's the key to our partnership. It's like, you won't let me fail. Like, you literally will not let me fail. And, that, and I think it's, it's funny because if I, even, even if I feel like I failed, you're like, nah, you're going to give me a lesson out of it. Um, and I think that's <laughs> you really are every time. I'm like, man, nah, like let me be mad. <laughs> let me have my moment. And you like, like, nah, dude, like get up. <laughs> you know, and so I appreciate you for that. And I think I love how you said that. Yo, wow. All oh, they see is the strength. That's so true. Yeah. That's heavy. That's yeah. heavy. I'm still yeah. it. Thank you. Other people know <laughs> let people know where they can find you on your personal page. Yo, you know, you can find me on Instagram. At I underscore A M J A Y. Again, that's I underscore M J. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can find me at J underscore that dude. Again, J A Y underscore T H A T D U D E. Um, I'm also on Facebook. I'm we're going to get to be the same. I, I know. I know. It's You know, they got a lot of hiccups and handles in that. I'm going to fix I'm gonna fix that, though, actually. Oh, you're right. I'm going to go change that soon. <laughs> and I'm on Facebook. That has been your handles. And I can't it. my OCD that they're different. <laughs> but look, like, even I think it's like, I had the same phone number since, like, middle school. <laughs> it's just creature of habit, man. I know. I know. I, that I know. is not my testimony. It's a, listen. <laughs> but, yeah, those are my platforms, man. Y'all go follow me. I am on Facebook. That's unimportant. Um, if you want if you want to subscribe to my podcast, man, you can find me on all major podcast platforms. The Stay Up Podcast, the podcast is going to change your life and mine. Got some, I got some exciting content dropping, man. So y'all, y'all go subscribe and catch up to us. I'm in, I'm in my second season right now too. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful, yes. beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Well, I wanted to take a moment um, and publicly thank you. I, I try to make an effort to acknowledge your your greatness in my life because um, I, I feel like I can't go on social media and brag about my business partner and not tell my business partner. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not that person. Um, but I do want to also publicly thank you just for riding, just for riding with me. <laughs> I'm with you. Front you seat. Was- and I, I ain't saying nothing. I'm just on the ox. I got you. I'm just playing the music. The ox is one of the most important parts of the it trip. It is. That's why I got you. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, but definitely, like, I'm able to do a lot of the things that I do because even beyond what we do in the nonprofit, like, I feel like you support me as a person, too, and as a as a separate business owner. Um, so I appreciate you for that. And I wanted to publicly tell you that I appreciate you. Thank you. I'm, I'm yep. not gonna get emotional on this recording, but I <laughs> look. I, feel, look, I appreciate you too. I feel the same way. And um, I, look, look, I feel the energy and support always. If you ever think um, I'm not appreciative, I apologize because I always feel the support and energy from you. Um, and I don't take this partnership lightly at all because I've I've sacrificed a lot, and and I um, in relationships. Um, and and everything and the efforts to do what I do, um, and I just want to say thank you for allowing me to do that uh, here. I appreciate you. 
Aw, you're welcome, Nika. <laughs> Gio. Uh, well, thank you for being a part of season two of the Chasing Dreams podcast. Ooh. And that, it just dawned on me. I think you were the first interview of season one. I don't know. And the last episode. Season two. Let's I see go. what you say. Okay. Okay. I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all season three. (laughs) We just got to figure out what we're going to talk about, okay? I got (laughs) y'all. Thanks, guys.